this one's good. Put it next to one of the YSIs. By the way, that's getting pretty dangerously low. On a May Saturday, Dominic Gregorio and other state water board scientists join a handful of volunteers. They're taking the pulse of the ocean at Duxbury Reef area of special biological significance in Marin County. We're um, participating in the Coastal Snapshot Day. We have teams yet. It's a day when marine scientists, with help from regular folks up and down the California coast, check the health of the ocean and the streams that feed into it. Uh, they're sort of like vital signs. So we just, just like Beach Watch, fill in all the fields. Snapshot Day underscores the kind of partnership necessary to maintain and improve California's coastal waters. Duxbury Reef is one of California's 34 areas of special biological significance, or ASBS. They are building blocks for cleaning and maintaining seawater quality along the state's coast. Areas of special biological significance support unusual species or an unusual variety of marine life. They often feature unusual geology that helps support the creatures living there. And their water quality is protected by the State Water Board under California's Ocean Plan. Be careful. Sometimes it's kind of hard to avoid stepping on something, but we will do our best. Farther south, dozens of Bay Area school kids get their own snapshot of an ASBS at the James V. Fitzgerald Marine Reserve near Half Moon Bay. I'm just going to throw it out there. What do you guys want to see? What did you come expecting to see? Anybody? Yeah. Um, all the creatures. Fitzgerald is a prime example of how ASBS can strengthen the overall system. Everything that, especially with the recent oil spill, we've really tried to kind of get that into what we talk about here. In November of 2007, oil spilled by the tanker Costco Busan into San Francisco Bay made it all the way to the Fitzgerald Reserve, but the ASBS recovered quickly. Stringent clean water standards essentially turn an ASBS into a bank of clean seawater. Those banks lend clean water to the surrounding ecosystems, helping them resist and, when necessary, recover from contamination. And the Fitzgerald ASBS supports more than just marine life. It supports education. The San Mateo County Parks Department manages Fitzgerald. It sees as many as 130,000 people a year come here, and thousands of those are school kids. Yeah, it's really fun. What's fun about it? How, how you see animals develop, and um, you, you can touch them, you can feel how soft they are. And also anemones, which fold up. <laughs> it's really funny how they do that. The ASBS system protects seawater quality here, while programs like the National Marine Sanctuaries Act and the state's marine protected areas shield the plants, animals, and shore. At least 25 new species have been discovered here since this became an ASBS. It's just really amazing. Just really cool. That's Caden Panisi, and that tiny black torpedo is his little brother, Broji. I'm Mike. This is Broji. Aiden, AC. Okay. Aiden's 13, Broji's 11, I'm 33. Broji and Caden are fourth generation surfers in a surfing community that is another set of eyes and ears for ocean quality around Fitzgerald. It's worse here. The biggest change has been the big spills that we've had and you know, and more I, I think I think we just know more now. Mike and surfing buddy Todd Johnson worry about the quality of ocean. Kids like Broji and Caden will surf when they grow up. I think a few years ago a bunch of people got sick, so now when it rains you really think about, you know, I think that's our biggest source of pollution is the runoff. You know, my whole day, my whole life kind of revolves around it. I, you know, it's a way of life that I believe is good for this area. Surfers and others who use California's coastal waters know the biggest pollution threat now comes through pipes like these. Storm drains carry trash and chemicals from the civilization crowding California's coast. Those storm drain discharges threaten every ASBS on our state's coast. The beach at Kellogg Park marks an ASBS on the edge of the famous La Jolla State Marine Conservation Area. And something that really resonates with residents here is um, I want a clean and healthy environment for my children and my grandchildren. And future. Jennifer Nichols Kearns works in San Diego's Stormwater Control Unit. She has childhood memories of this beach and knows it is now a cash cow for the city. This one beach brings San Diego more than a quarter of a billion tourist dollars a year as it hosts three million annual visitors. It's just one part of an $82 billion coastal economy supported by the ASBS system. What the city is intending to do in phases 
is um, over the course of the next two years is replace all of the standard concrete here and asphalt with porous pavement that will act as a filter. The city, the San Diego Coast Keeper, Scripps Institution of Oceanography and other partners are using money from the state water board to shield this place from contamination washed through storm drains. When the oil and the dirt and the grime that is on this parking lot that would normally wash off and go directly onto the beach is actually going to filter down and get treated and it won't and that much less will go onto the beach. The ASPS, known as San Diego Scripps, begins where the La Jolla ASPS ends. Surfers ride here too, but this place is mainly a laboratory. Ed Parnell does research here and knows top to bottom why the ASPS is important. We're basically trying to understand what impact we're having on the coastal ocean. And the ASBSs represent a way for us to address those issues from a more controlled standpoint. Most of the same partners looking after Kellogg Park help the State Water Board maintain water quality here. But the Scripps Institution of Oceanography runs a worldwide research effort from this headquarters at the University of California, San Diego. And much of that research starts right here in the Scripps ASBS. But Ed Parnell has a motivator beyond just science. I think it's unfair. I can still go up there. Her name's Annie. And even at seven years old, she's worried about the future she'll inherit. By the time I have kids, the world won't be the world won't be as nice. Stick their stomach out outside their body and digest things outside their body. Today, Annie and her dad are checking out one of their favorite places. Oh, here's a sea urchin. The Scripps Experimental Aquarium. Sea urchins are really important in the ecology of the ocean. Ed has his own sad memories of people getting sick in the area's polluted ocean. Those memories help him see a brighter future. When I grew up in San Diego, in Mission Bay, or in San Diego Bay, you couldn't even go swimming in those areas. For In Annie's case, um, she, she can go uh, wading into the San Diego Bay and swimming in the bay now. Well, Ed Parnell sees a lot of hope for California's coastal water, and he sees the state's ASBS system as key. The ASBS itself has recently been a catalyst for kind of uh, like a kernel, if you will, for people to get together and talk about protecting the ocean. At the top of the hill above the Scripps and La Jolla ASBS, the future of the sea has thousands of faces. They stare in and out of the glass at the Birch Aquarium. The clean waters of this marine marvel are pumped through filters straight from the Scripps ASBS. But the strict water quality rules and money supplied by the State Water Board aren't really about filling aquariums. They're about a fuller life for all the creatures that use California's ocean waters. Fran Spivey Weber is a State Water Board member from Southern California. Her years of experience dealing with wildlife, water, and ecology make her a voice for California's ASBS system. We're going to be using the oceans a lot more, and we need to be using them in a wise way and using the ASBS to help guide us in those uses. The message echoes up and down California's coast. You know, one day, I want to raise my kids the same way, you know? If people appreciate that, how, you know, everything that goes on down the street still relates to what we do here and how delicate it is and how quickly things can really just go awry and, and not be able to fix it, then, I, then we're really doing our job. And we cannot do it alone.